We are solving a dosing problem. In this problem, you are to administer amoxicillin from a multiple dose container. Directions for reconstitution are, add 75 milliliters of water to yield 250 milligrams per teaspoon. The ordered dose is 200 milligrams twice a day. How many milliliters should you administer per dose? Since it is a dosing problem, we can solve this problem in one of three ways. No matter which way we choose, we want to look through the problem to figure out what has been ordered and what is available to us. The ordered dose is in the second to last sentence. It is 200 milligrams twice a day. We'll administer just the 200 milligrams, one dose at a time. The available amount is 250 milligrams per teaspoon. Because we're asked how many milliliters we should administer, we'll have to convert teaspoons to milliliters at some point in our problem. You'll notice that we did not use the 75 milliliters. This amount would be added to the container, but this amount is not a fraction, so we don't know how many milligrams are in the 75 milliliters. We have to use the fraction that gives us the strength the amount of med per volume in order to solve the problem. We'll start with the dimensional analysis approach. In this approach, we start with the order of 200 milligrams and put it over one as a placeholder. Next, we'll use the strength of the med to cancel the milligrams. So we have 250 milligrams, which I place on the bottom of my fraction per one teaspoon. Milligrams cancels. We're asked to give the answer in milliliters, so I need another conversion to convert the teaspoons into milliliters. I have memorized that one teaspoon is the same as five milliliters. This allows us to cancel the label of teaspoons and to have our answer in milliliters. On my calculator, I'll take 200 times 5 and divide by 250 and that will give me an answer of 4 with a label of milliliters, the only label that wasn't canceled. If I am going to use the nursing formula, I start with the doctor's order or the desired amount, which in this case is 200 milligrams. I divide by what I have on hand and I have 250 milligrams. I know that the labels for these two much, must match and cancel, which they do. The 250 milligrams is in a quantity of one teaspoon. However, I don't want my answer to have a label of teaspoons, so I'm going to change the teaspoons into milliliters. And instead of one teaspoon, I'll fill in that one teaspoon is the same as five milliliters. Now I'm ready to do the math. So 200 divided by 250 times 5 gives my answer of 4 milliliters. The final method is the proportion method, which uses equal fractions. We are to give the patient 200 milligrams. However, we want to administer this dose in milliliters, so I put in X milliliters. Available to me are 250 milligrams in a quantity of one teaspoon. When I look at this proportion that I tried to make, I see that it is not a proportion because the labels are not equal. On the one side I have milligrams over milliliters, the other side I have milligrams over teaspoons, so I need to change this teaspoon amount into a milliliter amount to make a true proportion. So I erase my teaspoons and replace the one teaspoon with its converted amount of five milliliters. And that gives me a true proportion, milligrams over milliliters, milligrams over milliliters. So I'm ready to cross multiply. So 200 times five gives me 1,000 as the first diagonal. On the second diagonal, I get 250x. To 
solve. I'll divide both sides by 250. That allows me to isolate my variable, and I find that x is 4, and the label on x is milliliters.